Good morning, my fellow dropshippers, or at least good morning to me because I'm recording this very early in the morning and it's a beautiful day outside and I'm going to record a video for you guys for my beautiful dropshippers that will show you how you can stand out, how you can make your listing stand out from the competition. I, this is something that I've been doing pretty much from the beginning uh, of my dropshipping journey from when I started eBay dropshipping and then when I started doing Facebook Marketplace, I've been doing this as well. So yeah. Yeah, the trick is basically to modify the images of your products and there are a few ways to do it and if you don't have any graphic design experience don't worry about it because I'm gonna use a very very simple program called Canva I'm gonna show you how you can use Canva to modify the images of your listings and again it's meant for people who are not experiencing graphic design. You don't need to know Photoshop. You don't need to do, you don't need to know layers, editing, blah, blah, blah. You don't need to know any of that. Canva is super simple. I will show you how to use it. But before we do that, make sure to like this video because it will make me very, very happy. And, <laughs> and uh, I like to spread this happiness to it all the other people that want to get into Facebook dropshipping. So as many of you are probably aware, Facebook Marketplace has this like garagey vibe. I don't know what, what what's the proper word. People think they buying items from other people in Marketplace, at least most of the time. Now with Facebook shops, this might change because there's probably going to be more and more actual e-commerce shops, e-commerce website jumping into Facebook Marketplace. And eventually maybe people will get used to seeing more typical stock images, right? And as you can know, we try to get the review images on Facebook Marketplace just because it's been proven many times. Images that show products in real life, images that show products from like the reviews that people post on your supplier websites such as Walmart and Amazon, they perform better and they have higher views because again people who are on facebook marketplace they think they buy these items from other people however if you are unable to find image like that like a review image and you have to use a stock image it's just a simple image with an item in the white background how can you stand out from the competition and if the item is very popular you know it's sales but there's this one guy who gets most of the sales and his price is very low and how can you compete with him? One of the things that you can do, you can try to edit your images and make them stand out a little bit. And one of the things that I use, for example, I change the background color. It's ridiculous. It's so simple. It's so easy to do, but it works. That's how I'm able to compete with my competition. So what I do, I edit the white background and change it into like a abstract color like red or yellow or something so an item is not on the white background but on the yellow it's so stupid but but it works i can't even tell you that that this ridiculous simple trick works another thing you can add like some stamps like 100 percent guaranteed or us made or limited edition or number one seller just put these tabs here and there and it also makes your listing stand out from the competition so now i told you the, the tricks that you can use now how do you create these type of stuff well again we're gonna use a tool called canva and canva is a web-based software that allows you to edit images create logos presentations they even have a section for videos if you want to edit the images that your stock images you can use that they have free and a paid version some features that i'm going to show you in this video include paid version because paid version has this really really cool tool called remove background which i use a lot basically uh, the ai is capable of finding an item from the image you upload and it removes all the background and just keeps the main item that you want to show which is really really cool and this is something that we're gonna do so i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna modify let's say this image right here let me go on my computer and i'm gonna show you how to do it all right so this is an item i found on walmart as you can know i'm a walmart favorite customer basically i use walmart all the time and uh yeah so this, this is like the fridge that uh, i found and it's a pretty popular item i checked on zik analytics which by the way you have a 
linked in the description below. Zek Analytics is a product research uh, program that allows you to find items that will sell. And this is one of them. So uh, I checked on Zek Analytics and this item is selling like crazy. So now, uh, but there's a lot of competition. Now I'm going to show you how to edit the image so you can beat the competition. And by to how to edit an image, I mean just the main image. I'm just going to focus on the main image. I'm not going to edit uh, all the other images that I'm going to upload because as you can see, there's multiple images here, right? Uh, but I'm just going to edit the main one, which is this image right here. So I'm going to download it on my, um, on my computer and then I'm going to upload it to Canva and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so right now I'm on, I'm on Canva and you have a link to Canva in the, under this video. I believe it might be affiliate link or not. It depends if Canva accepts my affiliation with them. But uh, regardless, uh, this is the Canva website. So as you can see, they have, uh, you can do a lot of stuff here. They make flyers, logos, poster, Facebook posts, social media, they even allow you to create t-shirt. Oh, by the way, this t-shirt that I made, right? It's actually from Canva too. So I designed this in Canva and they printed it out for me and they send it to me. So they do a lot of stuff, but we are gonna do uh, our product, right? We are gonna edit our product uh, picture. So I'm gonna log into my account and I'm gonna show you how to operate it. Okay, so right now I'm in my Canva account. As you can see, here are my projects that I worked. Some of these images, you can see them in my um, in my videos, so maybe you've seen them. Uh, yeah, I use Canva. I do use Canva, uh, but I also use Photoshop too. I usually use Canva whenever I want to create something quick and don't want to bother with, you know, all the Photoshop tools because Photoshop has a lot of buttons, settings, blah, blah, blah. If I want to create something quick, I just go to Canva, boom, 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 and make a quick design. But anyway, we're going to click on here where it says create design. And honestly, it doesn't matter which one you're going to pick, but I'm going to go with Instagram posts and I will tell you why. I picked Instagram posts because Instagram posts are in a square format, which means they are like universally made for mobile. And a lot of people that browse the marketplace, they do browse the mobile version. So I want to have a square, but you can create, uh, you can create custom designs actually. So if I go back home, right, and I click, I click on create design, you can click here on custom size and actually pick, you know, the size you want. I'm not sure what is the official like size for Facebook marketplace, but I do know that Instagram post works. So if you want to be like me and just, you know, do this very easily and quickly go with Instagram post. Okay. All right. So this is the main design. Now, right here, they give you templates of like your post, but we're going to skip that because we don't really care about that. Um, they have something called elements. So here you can find like, uh, like graphics that you can add and attach, but we're not going to re really going to use that either. What we're going to use though is this section which says uploads and we're going to upload an image that I, uh, downloaded from the Walmart website. So I'm going to click on upload media and I'm going to click devices or device and upload it from uh, the desktop. So as you can see, I just uploaded my image and it's uh, being uploaded to Canva and it's done, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this and put it right here. And sometimes Canva does that, sometimes Canva automatically puts it for you, but as you can see, it's kinda like there are edges and I don't want that, I want it, I want to have a little bit background so i'm going to delete that and i'm going to move, move it again but i'm i will try to yeah like something like this so i have a control over the size now i'm gonna make it bigger okay and then move it like uh like in the middle okay all right so check this out so now when i'm gonna click on the the background the white background and change it to a different color let's say yellow. I have this white space that's really annoying. Okay. So what you can do to remove the background 
of, of the fridge. Click on the fridge, and then right here where it says effects, click on it. And this is a premium feature that I was talking about. So uh, you have to buy kind of a monthly plan, which is like $10 a month. I, I'm not really sure, I don't remember. Uh, it's not that bad if you really you know, wanna invest into it. Uh, so, but, but anyway, um, click on the background remover and check this out. The program will automatically remove the background for me. Boom, you see? And now this, this fridge is in the yellow background which makes you stand out from the competition, as I said earlier. Uh, so I have my background cha changed and now I have my uh, fridge in the yellow background, but uh, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, differentiate your listing with like some custom stamps or uh, things like that. So let's say I wanna put a stamp that says, I don't know, limited series or something like that, okay? Uh, people like these type of buzzwords on their listings. It, it catches their attention. So I went to elements and I'm going to go to lines and shapes and I'm going to click on uh, this like circle thing. Okay. And I'm going to put this circle, let's say here in the corner. Okay. It's covering the fridge a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm going to change the color to something that's more standoffish. So maybe red. Let's do red, okay? All right, so I have this little red circle right here. Let's make it smaller, maybe like this, okay? And now uh, here, um, let's... Now I'm going to click on text. And I'm going to click on this one that says add heading. Okay, and I'm gonna type in, what is it I'm supposed to say? Limited edition, right? Limited edition. Oops. If I have uh, grammar mistakes here, just ignore it, okay? Just, just get the idea. We, we, please, the grammar police, just relax for a second. Just ignore me, okay? My grammar is not that perfect. Just let's just assume that this is grammatically correct, okay? I'm not sure if it is, but I think it is. So uh, I have my text ready, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it smaller, put it right here, and done. Now I have this image, the main image that I can make me stand out from my competition, and I can upload it to my Facebook Marketplace. So what you can do now is to click on download right here and make sure you're gonna download as a PNG. That's what we want. We wanna download it as a PNG. Why PNG? Because PNG is meant for uh, like online digital sphere. If you're gonna pick JPEG, it's fine too, but JPEGs are designed for like uh, uh, actual usage in real life. PNGs are meant for web and digital. So I'm gonna download it and here you go. My my flyer, I mean my my image is downloaded. So now when I go to Facebook Marketplace and I create a new listing and I wanna post this uh, this fridge, I can click on add photo, pick that image that I just created, and look, I know it's it's ridiculous, but trust me, this stuff works. This is more not gonna make you stand out and people will have click and people will be clicking on your listings it's very simple very easy you don't have to use canva to do it if you're if you're skilled with photoshop or as i said if you're real pro with paint microsoft paint you can also do this stuff like photoshop has features to remove background as well and I, I think you can do it in paint if you're really crazy and have a lot of time and bored but anyway i'm showing you canva because canva is just simple you don't have to have any program installed on your computer it's web-based it actually you can also have it on your phone so there's mobile version of canva and you can do these things on your phone as well i i just like it because it's simple it's quick and you can do it from anywhere all right my friends that will be it for today i hope you find this really valuable and it's gonna help you to stand out from the competition canva is a really cool tool 
you have a link for it down below in this video don't forget to join our facebook group the way of the entrepreneur where we talk about drop shipping etc check out zik analytics and auto ds which are programs that will help you with facebook and ebay drop shipping there is also a course down below that i support and i also took it that's how i learned about drop shipping but other than that i will see you on the next video okay take care